stop using over-the-counter medication, trying to eliminate worms. That was an old school idea. Now we know that there are millions of worms in our gut, but some of them are helpful, some of them are not. And when do they become unhelpful? They become harmful rather when we consume too much sugars, when we consume too much processed foods, colorings and flavorings, when we bring in too much of these things, then they grow out of proportion. Sometimes we refer to them as yeast. They cause infections. And so, I mean, in the past we tried using medications, we call them warm medicines, and we try to kill off these worms. But Mother Nature has several foods that we can incorporate in our foods moderately. Remember that food is our medicine, that moderation is our rule. If you intend to use food as your medicine, you have to start using these natural means to reduce the number of the worms instead of trying to eliminate them using over-the-counter medications. Look at that fruit, the papaya fruit. The seed is one of the top foods that you can use effectively to reduce the number of those things we call worms. Just chewing them raw on empty stomach, it's, it's, you don't need to cook it. About eight, seven to eight seeds, or even sometimes nine, it varies with individuals. It's very, very hot and spicy. So you have to start with little amount until you get used to it. Don't just rush it. If you suspect that you have worms or the, the worms have grown out of, you know, the normal number, or the help, helpful number. You have to uh, include foods like the papaya seed to help you reduce their number. Because if you reduce them, get them out totally, as we often do with using antibiotics, over time, our gut health will suffer. We are going to get the ugly side of it because the digestion of food and other activities that some of these bacteria help us to do will be affected. And that is why I call it an old school idea, trying to use drugs over the counter medications to kill off and destroy all the worms, get all of them out. No, my dear. Sometimes when they are becoming troublesome, like yeast infection, we take some of these things to reduce some of these natural foods to reduce their number. If you are a regular, uh, you, if you use foods like garlic regularly in your diet, like raw garlic, ginger, turmeric, uh, cloves, and other antibacterial foods, it is difficult, and I repeat, it will be difficult for these bacteria to grow out of proportion. For instance, I, have, I was doing that several years back using one medicines for me and even the entire family. For more than 15 years, I haven't taken any of those warm medicines and I haven't seen any, I mean, effect of not taking them or maybe my health has been affected. The reason obviously is because of the inclusion of these antibacterial seeds, spices and the infusions. That's exactly what you need to start doing, using food as your medicine. If you take them occasionally, I mean in moderation, incorporate them in your food, using them as spices, taking them as infusions, you don't have to worry. The worms will not grow out of proportion. They will not grow to the point where you will need drugs to eliminate them. And so you have to continue to incorporate them and then to include occasional uh, fermented foods, probiotics, to help to strengthen your gut health and then reduce the use of antibiotics trying to destroy bacteria and worms all, all, all together. It's one of the biggest mistakes we have made even in this generation. And that is why we have, I believe we have too many cases of uh, stomach ulcers, all the stuff that trouble even our young people today. Most time because they consume too much of these processed foods, too much sugars. And the absence of 
bitter foods is completely absent. Bitter foods like bitter leaf, like uh, bitter cola, like neem tea, which we call dogoyaro. So many bitter foods, they is, they is completely out of the diet. And when there are no bitters, that is when the worms grow out of uh, proportion. You remember in those days, they often tell us that you have to take bananas, you have to take sugars, honey, sweet things, so that the worms will come out. That's when they are about to administer those medications for uh, to us. I remember vividly. We often advise to take bananas and sweet things so that the worms will come out. So that the drugs, look at, that's our reasoning. So that the drugs can get hold of them. But you don't need all those old school ideas anymore. Just include these foods. Papaya seed is there. It doesn't, you don't need to cook it. Just take it normally, in moderation. Garlic, ginger, turmeric, need bitter foods. Incorporate them moderately in your diet. And you don't have to worry about deworming. I have had people come to say uh, they want to deworm. You have to deworm every three, three months. You have to deworm yourself, your entire family. And otherwise, the worms will do something terrible. What are they going to do? They will always be there. As long as you are eating sweet food, carbohydrates, the worms are there. It's when we get too many of these sugars inside of our belly. And then there are no uh, antibacterial foods, like I mentioned, there are no protein in the diet. Then they get out of control. As a matter of fact, when there are no protein in the diet, that is even more, the time we create more enabling environment for these uh, bacteria that we call worms. When there are no proper uh, foods that can build the body, then they play around and then they do whatever they like. Please stop trying to eliminate these worms using over the counter medication because it's a mission that you may never accomplish. Start using food as your medicine. Start incorporating antibacterial seeds and spices infusions. Remember the antioxidant vitamin C. So one of the most potent too. From lemons, your citrus, limes, grapes, and all of that. You can smartly reduce their number without hurting your gut, without hurting them, without hurting, without hurting yourself. If you like this tip, I mean, give me your like and follow me for more.